Hello everyone, uh, welcome back, TKS Sitch here today, and uh, we are going to be uh, going over what we've done so far with the uh, playlist for the Sendin' 2-Gun kit that we've been doing. Um, so this is, we're just having a little fun in this video, we're going to show off, play some games, shoot around, and just show you what the end product as of right now looks like whenever you have it all set up and dialed in. Anyways, if you like what you see, just follow the uh, playlist that's linked at the end of the video. Follow it from the first video down, and you can have the same setup. At best, you can have it for free. Um, anyways, you're wondering what these pictures are on my screen, and I'm just giving a, a shout out and giving my brother here a push in his endeavors. So, um, he runs an organization called Team Too Strong. That is his boxing camp. Now, if anyone has an interest in boxing, but, um, let alone in the area of Tahlequah, Cherokee County, anywhere in that region in Oklahoma, um, give him a, a call, get contact with him, um, just hit up the QR code in the upper left-hand corner, and he'll be pleased to help you out. Um, also, if you're looking for after-school activities, he's in partnership with the Echota Behavior Health Organization to where they're pushing boxing as a mentorship for just building up good mental health, um, suicidal awareness, because unfortunately that's growing in the youth population. So this is just one thing to get your child into. Um, his teachings is all up and down the scale. He has just after school kids. Um, he'll teach women's self defense. And also, he has a, at least a couple of good professional boxers that's going forward. But he's also been coaching for a long time. So he's been into MMA. You name the combat sport, he's into it. But, anyways, if you want to get active, be involved, just hit the QR code in the upper left hand corner, and all his contact information is there. Uh, let him know that I sent you, and uh, like my page, my YouTube, and also, more, most importantly, like his page as well up in the contacts. It will help him out. It will help get the word around about this great organization that's going on for mental health and wellness. Um, even if you're not in the area, just hit that for me anyways. I know I got some of you Aussies out there, so we can take this thing worldwide. <laughs> okay, anyways, enough with the plug, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, we got this pretty cool intro. I dig it. Now, of course, due to um, YouTube copyright laws and demonetization and all that other stuff they try to get you with, can't allow the uh, sound to come through. Or this video is not going to be able to be seen in the Congo or other communist countries, I'm sure. But it does have some pretty killer music. Go ahead and fast forward through this. And it's not going to let me, so I guess we're just going to watch it all. 
So anyways, for some of you unfamiliar, these are ascendant guns. Pretty, pretty simple. Let's go through, play, point, and shoot. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go through the build. We're going to start with the uh, platforms. So we have our arcade. We have Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, we got Master System. And Sega M2 is what we just finished off with. And I'm just going to run through a game list check real quick. You can use the gun to control everything through here, actually. All right, so a quick controller view here. You can see we have 89 games in our arcade. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, we have 14 games. Master System, we've got 8 games. We have 6 games in our M2. And I'll just scroll through the listing. And I can actually control this with the gun. And we'll just go ahead and start from the top. And we have all your basic games here. If you've been running any of these builds before, we already have a build. I'm sure you have all these games here, so nothing, nothing too wowing in here. We have all your favorites. You had the Buck Hunters, Arcade Duck Hunt, Alien 3, Area 51, etc. I can hit this to back out. Nintendo Entertainment System got Hogan's Alley. Now, Laser Invasion, I have trouble working correctly. That could just be me and Operation Wolf. I cannot get this working correctly. If anyone knows how, um, drop me a comment. Um, I love Wild Gunman. That one's pretty fun. Get out of here. And I do actually plan on playing some, so I just want to play one or two games per platform just to show you that we are up and working. Now you know it says Rambo 2. This is actually Rambo 3. I just have this as a placeholder for my media. And this is your map master system. And, of course, the M2. We're starting to get into the more higher-end stuff. So we're starting with M2, which is a good place to start because it introduces Reshade along with the Demon Shooter, so you can use two players. Going into uh, Sega M3, I would recommend just going one player if you're on Descendant. Just, it has the same issues with Retro Arch, which is going to change your mouse ID every time. There is a third-party app you can use to identify that and fix it. But you have to do that every time you start the game. So just save yourself the headache. Just play it with one player. I think there's only one or two games that you can really can play two players anyways on M2. But, you know, use your own discretion. Alright. Anyways, let's get to the fun stuff here. I'll start this game. We'll go Area 51 maximum. I do recommend playing this version over regular Area 51 if you want to do that. Just because it runs a little bit quicker. This sounds a lot better. Get my coins in. Off screen. On screen press start. Gangster mode. On screen press start. Area 51. It's one of my favorites. It's just a good quick quick game accurate game simple to start up now I like to, I like to play this but with like a as a starship troopers version that would be pretty awesome with like the starship troopers class and probably give you a nice little motivational speech before you jump in like, come on, let's go, let's go kill these bugs. Try to take this copper down. All right, enough of that. Let's try something else. Uh, Carnival. Carnival's always been one of my favorites. Me and my buddy back in, in right out of our high school days, used to play the shit out of this game. I think at one point we got so good. We could get through this game just on three quarters apiece, which 
hit the wrong button. <laughs> but on uh, three quarters of piece, that would be back when you can put two coins to start the game and then one more coin to continue. So just start us off and then give us a continue. And we can get through that game. Let's get through these BIOS loading. The most unfun part of starting these up. Yeah, when you're running these emulation games, for those who never really have done this, it it treats it treats the um, game like you're just now setting up an arcade. So you have to go through the whole arcade setting up process. You ever watch me in my other videos, and we just jump straight into. Uh, straight into the game. It's because I'm using the power of editing to get past that part. <laughs> yeah, you want you can also pump action it as well. Alright. Let's try one more game on arcade and then we'll move on to something else. Oh, and you can also filter your games out, too, so you just want to jump to a letter. Um, Jurassic Park. Fun game, but the aim is just shit. Yeah, when I say the aim is shit, if you try to aim at the crosshair, the crosshair is going to be way up here or even off screen. So the best way to play these games is just to treat it like you're holding a shotgun. And just play it by the screen crosshairs. Now this is reverse. My I'm using my red being on the left side, my blue being blue on the left, red on the right. So I'm kind of backwards on trying to play this. <laughs> but you get the point. Just don't even try to aim. Just point it like a shotgun. And hope for the best. Yeah, it's got... There we go. It's easier with just one. Maybe it's easier with one. <laughs> yeah, if anyone has these dialed down, comment me on how to do it. I know it works better with Final with the Retro Arch Final Burn Neo. But I've just... That's just too much work for me to set up for one game. Now, this is always a good classic. I know a lot of people around my age, we got started off with Lethal Enforcers. But this is a Lethal Enforcers 2, The Desert. And what's cool about this version, it's a Japanese version, so you can just select what stage you want to start on. And what's more Western in the country than a good old train robbery? I think that's just the introduction part. I still got some hits on that, though. Hey, if he's in my way, he's not innocent. All right. Uh, so moving on, let's try some Nintendo. Feel like I'm the um. Feel like I'm the NES kid with this orange one. Oh, now, the way I like to play this game, and you can use this as your select move down. Is old west style. You could play like this and just wait for it to start, but it's just so easy that's not even fun. Best way to do it is west western style right here. barely got that gone to left. The uh, trick is to look at the timer on the uh, gunman and go after the one that has the quickest time. So you have to beat that many seconds. So I want to go left then right. Ah, I didn't even hit him. He got me. But uh, for Nintendo and the uh, Master System, 
Those are going to be one player games. So, yeah. Let's play one player game, but also the controls for player one is also on here. So, like here, I just have to off screen for my select, on screen for start, and there's that stupid dog. Now, here's a little fun fact. If you play the arcade version, when you get to stage three, you can actually shoot the dog. So if you ever want to have your chance to shoot that dog, because he's always laughing at you, play the arcade version, make it a stage three, and you'll have your chance. But I advise you, the arcade one is also very hard. The aim on that thing is so tight and pinpoint. All right, let's get out of here and get to some Master System. Master System does have some fun games. It's some little janky games, too. Uh, Rambo. Of course, let's get off with some Rambo. Never really made it too far in this game. And I think that's just because of me. I just suck. That If they get in front of you like that, you have to shoot them about two times. Let's see. You can hit your front left button. Nope. Thought that would pull the grenade. Yeah, it's kind of janky to figure out. But it's fun once you can get it down. Let's see. Rescue mission's fun. We'll go with Gangster Town. I cannot get past the first stage. You start off in the back shooting a car. And you can shoot the ghost after you kill the gangster. So you kill the gangster, and then you can kill... Okay. Got, got by it somehow. Alright, got to do that. As you can see, my aim is good now. My calibration is actually pinpoint. So, I don't know. Once you get past the testing, then you'll go to the car chase. Now this is fun, but again, it's super hard. I'm not for sure what I'm supposed to do here. And you can shoot the ghost. I don't think it matters if you don't shoot the ghost. Maybe it's just extra points. And then you get this plane for whatever reason. I don't know if that plane's shooting at me or not. Yep, that plane is shooting at me. So now I have to shoot this while defending myself against a plane. I don't think I'm going to survive. Oh, I think it's the first ever made it. All right, let's get out of that. Okay, answer some M2. Now, these are some fun games. These were a lot of people's first steps into really high-end emulation for guns. So you have the House of the Dead, Virtua Cop 1 and 2. Go ahead and start off with that. Now, these are the games that really lured people to these guns. I think back in the day, I never played a Virtua Cop or Virtua Cop 2. But that would probably be more likely because my arcade at times didn't have it. But we did have House of the Dead, House of the Dead 2, um, Aliens, and so forth. Actually, we can get both guns in on this game. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, has some technical difficulties, but let's go ahead and try that again with uh, both guns. 
Oh, quick note. This screen may only show half of the screen or in a 4-3 ratio. And for whatever reason, whenever I'm recording the Sega Model 2, it post-edits that it's in a 4-3 ratio, so it's not covering the entire screen. But let's see if I can show this to you. It actually is showing the entire screen. I don't know how well that's showing. But just a quick edit there. Let you know that it is showing everything correctly. So if you just follow along in the videos and wonder why mine looks this way, it's just how it looks on recording. Okay, sorry, I messed up my camera adjustment, so <laughs> that's why my shots are looking like crap. All right, let's get out of that. All right, play uh, one more for you all, and then I'll let you go. And thank you a lot for watching this and uh, following me uh, once again. And be sure to check out my brother Arlo at Jumper and his organization, Team of Too Strong. The QR code was beginning of the video, so be sure to reach to click on that, check it out. Um, even if you have no interest in boxing or getting kids involved or anything, just give it a like and a shout out anyways. It'll help out. It's a great organization. But let's get back to gameplay. Alright, so we're good here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. You're already going to turn to a zombie. I'll probably have to kill you later. Ah. All right. And we'll call it a day there. Uh, anyways, thanks you again. Y'all have a good, great November.